Hello to everybody. Uh, I'm really happy to greet all the participants of the International Conference on Science and Technology Research. Uh, my name is Ludmila Gretzun. Uh, the topic of my presentation, Modeling University Courses Using the Three Nets. I'm really happy to represent here the Simon Kuznets National University of Economics, uh, Kharkiv, Ukraine. Um, I work as a full professor of computer science department, where we train uh, pre-service IT specialists uh, for uh, various branches of uh, national economy. Uh, so uh, I have a PhD and second doctoral degree, and uh, uh, the focus of my, my scientific um, uh, interests uh, are among these areas, uh, but uh, main my uh, focus is uh, curriculum design and uh, uh, creating of coordinated curriculum design in university education based on knowledge penetration. So the topic of my presentation is tightly connected with the focus of my research activity. Um, Today, I'm going to touch the problems of university courses synchronization and which difficulties uh, arise usually there. Uh, then I'd like to cover the author's approach to the curriculum modeling using Petri Nets facilities and the share of discussions of the benefits of the offered approach. Uh, so, uh, talking about the problems of university courses synchronization uh, in general, uh, it's necessary to say that they are caused by the number of factors um, which demand this search of new approaches to curriculum building nowadays. Among these factors are the following. Quick changes and renewing of technologies, social life situation in employment uh, market and in general really a volatile situation, unstable situation in all spheres of our life. Then it's uh, definitely trends of international students and employees mobility, which uh, course international, international context of higher education in general. Also the growth of information amount, knowledge expansion, renewing of knowledge, losing their urgency. Uh, and definitely the trends of um, contemporary scientific branches as for the synthesis of knowledge, mutual enrichment, interdisciplinary uh, content, context of uh, research with uh, interpretation and uh, interpenetration of knowledge and cognitive methods, tools, and so on. Uh, so all of these tendencies must be reflected in the content of training of university students today, because the global science and deployment market demand specialists who are ready to solve integral problems, not specific ones, not isolated ones, but integral problems. To have flexible system of knowledge, which are able to use it in related branches and ready to be adapted quickly to changes, to retraining, to reorienting their qualification and so on. Um, and in this context, it is really important to um, understand the role of curriculum discipline, of curriculum course for pre-service specialist training today. Uh, because on the one hand, a curriculum uh, discipline is implementation of certain educational content. Yeah? And relevant modular structure of a course can facilitate uh, the process of uh, formation of holistic and flexible system of uh, students' knowledge uh, and skills, or just opposite, it can uh, damage, ruin this uh, uh, united and whole understanding of, uh, um, of um, the world, the picture, and the system of knowledge. And on the one other hand, the curriculum discipline uh, is embodiment of some scientific branch adapted to teaching and learning. So it must reflect correctly the branch structure at the same time preserving main links between notions, concepts, facts, and theories that really exist both inside the scientific branch and between uh, branches of sciences in the whole. Uh, so 
the main problems which to be solved uh, in the process of uh, content building and curriculum building, uh, how to form integrative content of learning, how to provide modular structuring of uh, uh, curriculum disciplines with preserving links between knowledge and how to provide their synchronized learning throughout the modules of different curriculum disciplines for pre-service specialist training. All of these uh, problems uh, are not trivial and they might be, uh, might be solved and they are uh, really urgent today. The need uh, of uh, alternative approach uh, actually has been explained. It's necessary to develop alternative approaches to the curriculum design based on mathematical and digital tools, which are able to overcome the exposed problems and to cultivate cross-disciplinary strategies of teaching and learning. And finally, to form students' holistic, coherent and flexible system of uh, knowledge. Uh, key characteristics of our integrative approach to uh, curriculum design uh, are covered here. First of all, it is based on the relevant mechanisms of knowledge integration in scientific branches and in curriculum courses. It provides special technique of uh, discipline structuring, which triggers the me integration mechanisms realization, and it results in the coordinated system of curriculum in disciplines. Um, uh, the technique of curriculum discipline structure, which was elaborated by us, uh, it is rested on uh, three main ideas um, of multi-level construction of the content of learning, multi-level uh, knowledge generalization, and uh, we applied models of knowledge representation of artificial intelligence theory. In particular, we used semantic networks and uh, frame-based systems uh, using the uh, facilities of hierarchy and uh, inheritance properties. Um, the um, technique of structuring can be covered in by four main stages. It's so-called super uh, discipline level, the level of curriculum uh, discipline and the level of learning material of uh, curriculum discipline. Uh, covering uh, the procedures of all of these levels, I'd like to um, emphasize the following. At the super discipline level, <coughs> uh, the um, learning content, content is concentrated as a network of uh, so-called key points. Uh, which are defined based on the analysis of the system of professional functions of pursuing specialists, uh, based on the structure of their activity, the essence of their typical professional uh, tasks, and so on. So they include real, true objects, processes, phenomena, which are to be mastered by pursuing specialists uh, in their university education. On the next stage, which is so-called structure level of uh, level uh, language generalization, it is provided the general structure of the subject area and the rules of knowledge manipulation. In order to realize uh, them, we elaborated special technique of preliminary analysis of the subject area and revealed so-called didactic characteristics of academic disciplines. After such an analysis, we could select uh, node learning elements of the subject and we grouped them uh, around the uh, key points of super discipline level. Uh, so formally it is done in such a way and uh, uh, these selected learning elements which are grouped among uh, proper um, key points of uh, the first level of knowledge generalization. Well, all of these learning elements, uh, they in fact make uh, modules and in fact make so-called frames in the terminology of uh, artificial intelligence uh, theory. Uh, on the second stage, uh, uh, the hierarchy structure with the frames in its uh, nodes is built and each frame which in fact is a, a table of special structure. Uh, each frame corresponds to cycles of training, to curriculum subjects or courses, 
to be a modules with Livonian elements inside of them. On the third level, uh, the third stage of the discipline structure, uh, so-called level of learning material, uh, this level will fill in all the frames prototypes of uh, general structure uh, and be a slot with exact data, exact values of learning elements, uh, exact uh, inheritance pointers uh, of each slot to provide proper links. Uh, after all of these procedures, we obtain a coordinated and coherent system of curriculum subjects, which look like this one. Here you can see the semantic network of super discipline level and modules with frames grouped among the proper key points of first super level of educational content. So you can see that each uh, course can be represented as a nested system of frames. And each frame uh, consists or covers the system of learning elements uh, with uh, links which uh, are spread and penetrated via the modules. Uh, and in fact, we obtain the really sensitive and coordinated system of learning elements, which uh, are sensitive to the changes which usually happens on the super level discipline, uh, super discipline level of education content formation. So, uh, the technology to the discipline structuring and coherent curriculum shaping was implemented and verified. However, in the process of real curriculum building, it became clear that it's necessary to elaborate the issue of the grouping learning elements into the frames, which in fact are modules, because it's essential to group them, making into account all the sequences and precedence of their learning within the modules and disciplines in real uh, uh, educational practice. Uh, it uh, will make uh, their mastering not only holistic, but also synchronized. Um, in this context, it is relevant to use the simulation advantages of P3 NETS operators as for their uh, process synchronization. Um, to, in brief, to cover the theory of Petri-Nets and their properties, uh, I'd like to say the following, that uh, Petri-Net can be defined as a two-part type oriented graph, uh, which uh, includes uh, non-empty sets of uh, uh, vertexes, and among vertexes, there are two types of them. There are places, which are circles, yeah, and transitions. Uh, places usually represent states and conditions, and transitions uh, usually represent events. Uh, also, there are some tokens moving uh, around the uh, places. Places can accommodate tokens, and moving the uh, tokens around the net can simulate the process in uh, progress. Uh, our component determines a relationship between the vertices corresponding to the arcs. As I said above, in our approach, the disciplines are composed by the frame, frames uniting the learning elements. Any frame has inputs and outputs. Inputs are the learning elements necessary for the student to master in order to be able to learn the learning elements of uh, the frame. And in similar way, the outputs can be represented regarding the other frames. It can be distinguished uh, different uh, types of the precedence relations uh, between inputs and outputs between the proper learning elements. And here you can see that there are three types of uh, um, precedence relations for inputs, one-to-one -one learning element, uh, one of K uh, with all precedence relations and the whole set of uh, K learning elements to one uh, so-called end precedence relations. And similar things uh, can be made for the outputs, one-to-one -one relation and one-to-K learning elements relation. 
using these uh, president's relations between learning elements, we can build a common between net model for each module. And uh, uh, for each module, uh, the common patronet uh, might be represented by four places and eight transitions, as you can see it on the picture. The places represent uh, the states of learning elements as for their readiness to be learned by students due to their relations uh, precedence. There is always one and only one token on the module, which means that only one of these places can be marked at the time. And the transitions simulate the, the events of start of learning elements, mastering and accomplishing them. So in such a way, we provide the so-called synchronization of learning, uh, of, uh, learning elements. But then uh, net addition is done by merging transitions, uh, so-called learning able to start of dependent module and learning ready to continue, uh, learning element ready to continue of the previous module. But there are three situations, how to add the modules to create a course uh, due to different uh, types of uh, precedents, as you can see it on uh, pictures A, B, and C. Uh, the Petri net representation of two modules presented by common Petri nets after applying the rules um, presented before using the uh, net addition operation, considering end residence uh, for A picture and or presidents for B picture. Um, so, summarizing such uh, an approach, we can say that the built between nets represent all the evolution of the learning elements mastering by students in the uh, frames, which are in fact course modules, and between them. Between net facilities provide grouping learning elements into the frames, uh, taking into account precedence of their learning. And the frame facilities provide spreading the set uh, links between the learning elements with, within the module and between the modules of different disciplines. Such a modeling for shaping the frames, in fact, modules uh, of uh, university courses provide synchronization of learning elements mastering and at the same time keeping links between them. Uh, so, characterizing the potential benefits of uh, the offered approach to the courses modeling, uh, we can uh, realize mechanisms in such a way, we can realize mechanisms of knowledge penetration in curriculum subjects, optimize sequence and coherence of learning, build individual learning paths for students, etc. cetera. Uh, so, also it might be uh, used for um, uh, formation of educational content for systems of intelligent adaptive learning, innovation curriculum programs created with interdisciplinary content, effective uh, tests creating, and uh, which is really important for university uh, students, uh, sort of university teachers, uh, using such uh, the results of such an approach of uh, courses modeling. Uh, really important for a um, university teacher because he is uh, able to see and realize the place of each learning element in the system of learning elements of his discipline and the links uh, with other discipline via mutual penetration and um, thanks to that uh, university teacher can select proper methods and techniques of learning to offer students really interdisciplinary problems to solve minding uh, uh, revealed links yeah uh, provide special ways of students activity in order to form their holistic and flexible system of uh, knowledge and skills and finally to save academic time and at the same time to learn with students each element comprehensively deeply and from the standpoint uh, of various uh, disciplines so our work is in progress and uh, um, that's all for today. I am um, ready for, to answer your questions. Thank you for your attention.